I have to call this guy back. Who, Johnny? Yeah. Uh, wait, I, let's hear this. Okay. Shh. How are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm good. I called John Edward. I've been friends with him for a long time. <laughs> How are you? Good. How you doing? I'm gonna jump in right now. Do you have a father-in-law or an older male that would be like uncle who passed from cancer? Our dad passed from cancer. I, I feel like you need to know dad's okay. And I feel like you need to know that he will continue to be a connection to your lives. I do really trust his opinion, and I obviously want to hear positive response. You know how you said to me when I was like, am I pregnant? And you were like, no, I see the number three. And you were like, three months or three years. And I was like, oh, I can't wait till she's three years old. She's like one and a half, you know? So basically, I have had this issue with my uterus. So I was going to, I, I've done IVF and it didn't work. And I have the option to do okay. another transfer or do a little biopsy that they think I need before I do another transfer since it hasn't worked. And I just wanted to know, what was that three? Like, should I do a transfer? I think you're probably going to do the biopsy. Yeah. I think you need to do that just, just for health reasons. They're probably telling you that. Yeah. Um, I don't know. Not seeing you conceiving. It's just a hard time. My heart just kind of sinks. I'm looking for any kind of positive answer to kind of push me along with this journey. I'm just like exhausted. I don't know how much longer I can go through with this. You can't psychologically dwell on conception and fertility. What you need to do is visualize walking with a child. You need to see your daughter playing with the child. John just feels like I'm putting too much negative energy and stressful energy into trying to get pregnant. Think about it in terms of your body and when it's the right time energetically. And then also, whatever energy is coming in to have you as a mom and coming in as a, as a dad and has to have a certain set of circumstances. And astrologically, it's got to be the right time for that child to come in. Okay. You know, do what the doctor is telling you. Do it the old fashioned way. Do it with their help. Just, just know that it's going to happen and just allow it to happen. It's like so frustrating. I need to just relax, visualize it, and it'll happen. It's been extremely hard to get pregnant. I've been having 500 times a day. Ew. And I still get pregnant. I can't guarantee that. You know, we've done little operations on my uterus. Oh my God. You're almost done. I was so close to giving up, and that's when it happened. When did you find out? Like two days ago. But I haven't told anyone. What? Me? Just you. I told North last night, but I don't think she understands. <laughs> what? I don't take it for granted, the fact that this is like a miracle that's happened, and I just feel so blessed to be pregnant again. This is so exciting. Okay, then I don't want you to do too much. I haven't worked out. Like, in two weeks, they told me to, like, rest. You know, I get when my sisters are pregnant. I'm it's very fun. protective. I'm just happy that my sister's pregnant. I'm just really excited. I want there to be more kids. Yeah. <laughs> we have an announcement to oh. make. Oh my God, what? We're having a baby. <laughs> what? Yeah. No! Oh, another one! Look at that! <laughs> <laughs> We're having a boy. I'm so happy for you. Congratulations, you guys. Oh my God! Are you excited for your fourth kid? Yeah. I'm pleased. I stopped using the word excited. I took it out of my new dictionary I'm working on. <laughs> I'm very happy. Yeah. I feel like the energy is going to be really balanced out. Saint happens to be one of my favorite human beings. But... I don't think it's good when like parents feel like, this is my favorite child. I think it changes. I mean, it's reality. I was my mom's favorite for a good decade, and now it's Kylie. I don't think you should play favorites with kids. Well, they would never know that. I'm just saying. Oh, yeah, they just watch this. <laughs> <laughs> but you guys, it's really top secret. Really we don't want anyone to know until it happens. We're getting a new baby? Yeah. No. Well, I know, but you take we're getting a another baby. I know. A boy or girl. She said, I know. I said, I know. Oh, yeah. my God. <laughs> what we found online is that this ML, this looks obviously better, like on your counter. Mm-hmm. 
And I feel like it's even cuter for people to take pics like this. Like, yeah, that's it'll like, actually fit. This one like is more of a yeah. joke, you know? Cute. Let's just go with the small one. Wait, I want to show you something. Ooh. There's the strong right there. Isn't that crazy? Wow, that is so exciting. I'm low key freaking out. Why? I didn't think it was gonna like happen. I thought like, oh, it probably won't even take. So like, who cares? You know, we'll yeah. try it. And now that it is, the two little ones are gonna be a year apart. That's amazing. Yeah. I'm not gonna tell any of my friends. I'm gonna tell your friends because your friends are the ones that keep yeah. it quiet. So I'm not gonna have yeah. to tell anyone. I'm gonna call your friends. Yeah, of course. Um, so I've been thinking about freezing my eggs. Are you serious? You want another kid? What if I do though? I don't know what I want. What if I want a kid in the next 10 years? Wouldn't you rather have the insurance like sitting, like sitting there? Well, if you have a kid and when you're pushing 50, then. Janet Jackson just did it. Yeah, but. Who would you have a kid with? I don't know. She does. Look at that smile. No, I don't. You Wouldn't you just say, hey, me. Scott, give me your sperm, and they take it in a turkey baster, and they stick it up you and squishy. I don't need a baby to have a baby. I have three kids. I'm saying if I am, like, in love, and the person wants to have a kid. So you're t thinking about a younger guy. What are you talking about? I'm just trying to I see get if it. I could get it out of you. If I wanted to have it with, with my situation right this second, I would take out my IUD, and I would get to work. <laughs> get to work. But I don't need, that's right now, I'm good. good. Got it. Got okay. It. This is if you're in love and want to fulfill man's dream of a baby. Mm -hmm. Yep. What if I want my love to come into the world? <laughs> is that gross to you? It's so weird that babies are born. You just have to really ask yourself, is this something I want to secure because I want to make sure and know for sure that True will never have to experience being alone and not having the support system that you've survived off of, and so have I. That's really the, my biggest drive in wanting to give her a sibling. I'm just saying, right now I'm not sure. While you were in the unsure phase, why don't you just freeze your eggs? I know, that's what my mom was saying too. Oh. And I'm not against it, I'm just like, Ugh. Well, once you do it, it's the best insurance policy you can ever have. You don't want to look back and go, ah, I should have. I've been doing hormone injections for about five days, and the injection process has been fine. I don't know why. I'm like, oh, okay, it's not that bad. How many does he see? 14 to 16 eggs. And then what? They freeze pick them. the best ones. Yeah, they can tell if one of the eggs is bad somehow, but you can't tell any chromosome um, until it has sperm mixed with it. Yeah, Dr. Wong was saying the bonus of doing embryos, you get to see like what are your stronger embryos, which are healthy, you get to already know all that by mixing them with sperm. So you which can. I do have a sperm donor, but. You do? Yeah. Do you, can I see a picture? Tristan. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> can I see a picture? I thought you like went to a bank. Oh my God. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> After my doctor's appointment, I talked to Tristan because if you can create embryos and do all the DNA testing, I do think that's the smarter choice. But it's weird because Tristan and I were not together. I don't know which way to go. You know, like he has to sign like legal paperwork that he would just be my sperm donor. Wow. But you never know, like what in three years if I get married to someone and I'm like, you know what, I don't want that. But cool mine are just frozen, like there's no, I don't have a sperm donor, I just. <laughs> we could find you one at the bank. <laughs> wait, so what are the next steps with your eggs? I have to wait until the mixing process is done before I know how many embryos I have. Yeah. But I spoke to Dr. A and she was just a little concerned about like I did a check and blood panels and all this stuff and she just said that I would be like a high risk carrier for a pregnancy. I'm not gonna get into specifics on camera, but they said like it's an 80 something percent chance that I will miscarry. I almost miscarried with True at the beginning, but I didn't know that was like a lingering thing. This is all really kind of shocking to me 
all I'm trying to do is bring more love into my life and into my family. And it just, I seem to be running into more and more roadblocks and it's really hard for me to digest. She said she would be afraid if my embryos are so hard to create, like she would feel terrible putting one in without warning me that most likely I wouldn't be able to carry. Yeah, and then that would be a waste. I mean, I honestly had the best experience with surrogacy. And I think that you know what giving birth feels like. Like I always say, like if you can do it, it's like such an amazing experience. But like you'll see that the love that you have for your kids is exactly the same. Like there's no difference, you know, except for there was someone else that was the carrier. It's actually really scary. I really can't believe this is happening. I'm really grateful that there are other options, but I love being pregnant with True. <sighs> my little, my bib. It's such a beautiful experience to have. Big belly. I love you, baby. Knowing I might never get to feel like that again. It's daunting, it's scary, it's stressful, and it breaks my heart. You know, Dr. A just said it probably wasn't the best idea for me to carry. She's nervous and cautious about a couple things. What is your opinion on me doing the surrogate? First time was so scary. I did a FaceTime first, and then I invited him over for dinner with her two kids, and Kanye and her husband, and I wanted to meet them all face to face. I didn't That's know nice. what you know, to expect, and I wanted to feel and see if this energy was gonna work for us, and she was amazing, and her husband was so great. We wanna make sure they're just a good person. I agree. I think it depends even like what they watch on TV. Who? The surrogate, she's saying. The surrogate. While the baby is in the womb. Why? She feels that I the feel baby like can hear it. I feel like it has an effect. I don't know. I don't think what you watch has anything. I don't. But I really do believe like what you eat because you're feeding it to your kid. But you can ask her, like, what are you eating? I'm just curious. Like, I'm not going to tell you what to eat and what to like, except for if. I can, you can pay for like extra organic stuff so that they only eat organic fruits and vegetables and meats. You'll find the right person. I can help you, like once you get applicants, like it sent, shows them a picture of them and their family. And then you oh talk God. to like the husband and it's like a whole thing. Did, like I don't know you were allowed to know that much about them. Yeah, you have to know like everything about them. It is kind of a weird experience though, I'm not gonna lie. Like at the end when you're like, Okay, okay, thanks, bye. bye. <laughs> yeah, and then you like take the kid and you're like, bye, thank you so much. I think the right thing to do is to have them come see the baby at some point before they leave. But you have to make like decisions of like, do you want them to pump and then send the milk to you, you know, every few days. What? It's like bizarre.